In this shortcut tutorial I will show you how to pixelate a video clip. I will also show you how to keyframe changes. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in shortcut. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well this is just a very simple video clip of a Bentley um, and I'm also using a proxy clip for this tutorial um, just if you it's worth learning to work with proxies if you can although working with proxies and shortcut can be a bit of a fiddle but anyway so I'm going to just extend the timeline along a bit so I can sort of see what I'm doing a bit easier and I've gone too far let's take it back there you are that'll do okay let's go back to the beginning So apply, to apply an effect um, in OpenShot, you just come down to filters down here, although they are up the top here as well, but I always use these buttons here. So just left click on filters, and you'll probably find that you're in the favorite setting. What you need to do is left click on video, and this brings up all the video effects in a shortcut. And what you're actually looking for is it's not called pixelize or pixelate it's actually called mosaic so left click on mosaic and this will create a mosaic or pixelated um, image or it'll set that it'll, it'll apply these settings here uh, it's, I think it's 2.5 percent so you can adjust these to suit if you just want to do a straight posterized um, sorry pixelated uh, video so you can adjust these to sort of levels that you want and just go ahead and render but if you want to uh, you can also use these reset buttons here if you wanted to say change at some point in the timeline so let's say you want to make sure you're at the beginning let's say you didn't want any pixelization at all at the beginning what you need to do is there's a couple of little clocks it'll say use keyframes left click on each of these and this will take you into the keyframes uh, section not the timeline so make sure that the keyframes are um, actually selected right at the very bottom left now if you've got your timeline track sort of set up as I have you won't see any changes but so what you need to do is make sure that you can actually see these two um, tracks here so one's width one's height and because you're at the beginning and you've selected the keyframes you've automatically put a couple of keyframes in so if I drag this over to a point where I want it to start changing. So let's say I want to start, I don't know, pixelating at this point here. It won't place a marker in the timeline because I haven't made any changes. So you'll need to select this clock here in width, add keyframe at playhead, and also its height. So from this point here, to this point here nothing will change if you make changes it uh, shortcut automatically puts in keyframes but for in this instance because I haven't changed anything from this point here to here it won't have put a keyframe in so as I said make sure that you place a keyframe um, in by left clicking on these two little clocks here you can also delete them as well okay let's say I want to come to this point here and then pixelate from this point or from go from nothing here to pixelated here what I can do is change the width and the height and as I said it's already placed some keyframes here so that's basically how you do it the other thing you can do 
is you can also adjust the amount now that you've got your keyframes so you can actually adjust this up or down to adjust the actual sort of sizes width and height that you want you can also move these along but what I would do first of all is move the timeline marker first of all so that when you move it it snaps to the marker it can be a bit of a fiddle it's, it's a bit jumpy uh, shortcut unfortunately but you get the idea and that's basically all you can do um, go back and play it make sure it plays okay and go ahead and render your video um, like I said at the beginning I assume you've got some understanding of uh, editing and shortcuts so I won't go into rendering hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers